and welcome. Hold on. So, I had a shit day at work today. It wasn't that bad until the end, but after, I really can't remember the first time I announced it, but I can tell you it's been almost two months. For certain, it's been almost two months since I, long story short, I bought another replica belt, but this one not only cost more, but it's supposed to be custom designed to how I gave. Now, hopefully this is it. So, without further ado, I just want to get straight into it. So again, this is going to be both a look and a review. So, I gave specific designs, and I'm going to see those designs real quick. I'm going to grab a certain title just to do a comparison for, so I will be back. Now, okay, so the title I got is based on the United States Championship, so I'm going to keep this here as a comparison for when I open this, because it's essentially the same design, but my own choices. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So here's the packaging. Nice box, pretty heavy, and it looks like it was wrapped well, so let's just get right into it. Um, looks like this is the best spot. Okay, I'm going to cut into this. Oh, that's going to snap. There we go, that's what I wanted. Right. Here we go. Oh. Now, so far... Now, here it is. You can barely see it, but it's noticeable. So let's go through the layers. First off is the bubble wrap. It's heavy. I want to say it feels heavy. Almost, I think it's about almost, maybe a little bit heavier than this one. Alright. Unfolding it. <laughs> Alright. Now, right here. It's, I'm not going to show it off just yet, but... Let's get into it. So there's some tape. More tape. I'm going to make this very slow just to annoy myself because I really want it to be a good reveal. I'll get the tape off so it's a little easier. good as taking this off. Alright, so, looks like there's some screws I've been given, which I assume are, I, I want to assume they're spares. So, I'm not going to look at it. Oh, that's got some weight to it. That actually is heavier than, feels a lot heavier than this. I'd say maybe half, an extra half the amount. Okay. So, right off the bat, without looking, this is the back of it. So it's black. It feels like the same material as this. So it's like a foamy type of material. However, this one definitely feels more bended. Okay. Let's just get into it. It's also got more of a dip for the front plate. So, without further ado, in three, two, one. I give to you the Australian Championship. Oh, this feels heavier the more I hold it. Oh, this looks gorgeous. So, 
Let's just get into it. I'm going to sit on my knees. Ugh. Right. So, right off the bat, the thing that's noticeable is this name plate. Now, it's very thick. And, of course, it's got my name here, Aaron John. That's what I asked. So, I'll go through the look of it and explain, obviously, the differences. So, number one, obviously, I wanted my name on it. This feels much more thicker and metallic than that one. Like, it feels like a lighter material. This feels heavier. Second, obviously, the name, it's Australian Championship. And, obviously, to go with it, the background is the Australian flag. Now, next, first of all, I like it. It looks good. Now, obviously, there's the typical WWE logo. Looks good. And, of course, it looks different fonts for both this, but that doesn't matter to me. In fact, it looks good. To the side plates now, as you can see, similar, but instead they've got a kangaroo here. And it's the very same as the other side. Of it. So, as an example, with this one, it's the same for that, but it's got Lady Liberty for America. So, obviously, with this one, it's that. Now, third thing I asked for, this was specifically, so the main things I asked for was my name on the plate, for it to say Australian Championship, for it to have an Australian theme slash background, which is what this and the kangaroos are, and the next thing for it is the strap is blue. Now, originally, I wanted to go with white, because white was the opposite to black for that. However, I was given an option to go for blue, and I thought that would look even better. So, again, the Australian Championship. Custom, it's not as custom as obviously most people could go, but to me, this is what I wanted. So, I can't, I can't remember the YouTuber at the top of my head, but a long time ago... I remember seeing a video he did where he had a replica of the United States Championship, but it said Australian, and it was the Australian flag. I saw that and thought that looked great, and I wanted to do one similar to myself, both as a thing for my YouTube channel, obviously I'm Australian, I love wrestling, so a championship would be cool, but also just to have like a nice, you know similar design but i wanted to do a little more for it so i added the nameplate extra stuff the look and the colored straps so it's it's heavy it's very heavy compared to that other one like right off it's much heavier it's so again okay i should go through it now with this one it's not noticeable but they're very it's thin but it's still thick enough that you know it's metal However, with this one, not only has it got more of a 3D effect, but I, I want to say it's doubled the thickness. That's why I feel like this is heavier, because it's double the thickness of, like, the metal. So, I paid a total, myself, of 607 Australian dollars. Now, I paid an initial 307 when I um, compared it from USD to AUD, and when the belt was close to being made and ready, like almost ready to ship, I paid the extra 300. And then uh, it took a while, but here it is. Now, obviously, the leather, well, it's not leather, it's, it's foamy, so you, you know, the strap at least, because of the packaging, it's very bent. But I'm just holding this in my hand right now, and it's. This is a long time coming. I am excited over the moon right now just having this in my hands. Not just because of its look, but its weight. I can't stress enough how heavy this feels. Alright, so. I want to say these might be just spare screws for if anything comes off. Because I'm looking now and I don't think anything on here has the same thickness. So I think they're just spares, which is good. So, the next thing to do, obviously, would be to put it on. Now, my camera is probably not going to... Yeah, see, it's not going to show my face, but... Oh, that's weight. Okay, so off the bat, 
the snap box here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by two for this, and five by two for this. So let's see. I think that to get it as tight as I can, I have to go about here. The buttons, once again, just like the cheaper belts, feel easier to click in. All right. Oh my god. Looking at this thing from my angle, it's difficult, but I can kind of see it. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick thing here. Take the stand off. Right. So, right here. The Australian Championship. It looks thick and 3D. I love it. Compared to the other belts I've got, the cheaper ones at least, it looks thicker and more heftier, so I love it so much. I can just feel the weight on it more as well compared to the other ones. Okay, putting this back down. Oh, right. So, obviously, I've gotten most out, so I've... Okay, as far as a review goes... I don't notice any paint splotches whatsoever. Looking close, I don't see a single thing. Obviously, it is. you can tell it's been painted, but at least it looks like they did it neatly. So, that's a good thing. Secondly, yes, obviously I did pay a fair amount for it, and I don't think I'm going to get a belt as close to the same price anytime soon. Maybe not, you know, maybe in another year like half a year, another year, I'm depending on if I think I need another one, but the way I asked for it, the, you know, specifics in the Australian theme, the blue belt colour, the name, it looks good. I think it looks great. The thickness of it, of course, is something I never expected, which is probably another reason why it cost a lot more, because it's definitely thicker compared to the rest. And obviously, okay, so I'm going to do a quick thing here as a comparison, just to kind of give an idea of the look. Right. So, right off the bat, there's the Australian one. And then there's the United States one. So, they both look, obviously, it's the same, I guess, template. But obviously, different colored strap, nameplate, name, you know, this one's more of an American theme, and the one I've got is more of an Australian theme. Another thing you'll notice, too, is with the United States one, it's got, like, the property of WWE thing here, whereas with this one, it doesn't, which, again, it is a custom one, so no biggie, not an issue there. Similar snap box, too. Now, another difference is with this one, it has, you know, the thing for the end here, whereas with this one, it doesn't. Now, obviously to most, that could be a bad thing for me. It doesn't really matter. I see the way the belt looks now, and it looks better than I expected. So, for anybody wondering, just in case, I might try and put a link in that in the description. I'll put a link in the description for the YouTuber that gave me the idea because I, not only is this a shout out to him, but a big thank you because would never have got this design for some of these video. And also I'll give a link for the company that made this belt. Now they're known as United, what is it? United Bros, I believe, or something along that lines. Again, I'll put it in the description. I'm sorry right now. I'm trying to think, unless the name's on here. Let's see if it is. Um, hmm. trying to show you. Hmm. yeah okay so it doesn't have that but United Belts I think they're called United Belts they're on Facebook I think there's a YouTube channel and all that there might be a website but yeah that's, I got it off Facebook. You, I messaged the guy who runs it and talk, got into talks with him and eventually that's what led to it. So, that's it. 
that's all I can really think about right now. I wanted to try and keep this video sweet and simple. Try and fit everything in. Oh. I, see, I can pick this one up. It's light. But when I pick this one up, the expectation is it's the same, but it's not. So, now, I am many things, but I am now the Australian champion. Now, obviously, I had thought about doing skits with this video and making it similar to the 24-7, except it's more to do with, uh, obviously, gaming, because my YouTube channel is gaming, and, of course, being in Australia... But I'm not going to get into that because, for all I know, I might not even do that. I don't really do much skit videos anymore because of work. So, for now, just leave it at that. But, thank you for watching. This is, to me, a long time coming. So, I don't know anyone who's followed with me. But, hopefully, you get the same feeling. And, uh, that's all I can really think about right now. So, thank you for watching. If you do, please like and subscribe if you think it was worth it or you think it's a good video again i will try and put the description for the youtuber and also the belt company and uh, hopefully they can you know it would be nice to know that someone saw this video and did the same thing and got themselves one too be really cool but otherwise just like that youtuber i'm hopefully just sitting, someone knowing that it's been done and again if any if the youtuber or if anyone who works for that thing is watching this thank you a ton for this because now i will always have this and i need to find a spot for it too because it feels like something i need to put up somewhere especially now that i've got my little youtube set up right here so thank you I'm gonna leave the video here thank you for watching like and sub hope you have a good day and i will hopefully see you in the next one i still have one more package which supposedly is expected to come Wednesday. I have Wednesday off from work, so if it comes then, great video for me to do on my day off. Now, until then, or until the next video I do, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.